I have been watching this show called Super Gals. It's it's pretty good. Um, it, it's great. It's about this, this short-tempered guy named Rantukabuki. And her friends doing stuff in Shibuya. It also gave me the gender dysphoria. Not even from Ran. From, from one, but from one of her friends, Aya Yoshino, the most insecure one of the three. She was first a very stu serious and studious girl, but started to go with the Galloway of her life with Ran, while still being a pretty good student. In episode 5, it started to become an issue for her, and that episode, I couldn't. I physically couldn't watch it for some reason. It's not even that I live something similar. It's like, I, I couldn't see her being this miserable. Why though? It's just an enemy character. And not even a, a comfort character of mine, I think. Ryan is a funnier and better character than her. Why could I like to see her misadventures in every episode, but I couldn't see one I am misadventure? Could her insecurities reflect my insecurities? On Twitter and Discord, I ask to trans and non-binary people which characters made them like they weren't their former gender. Got a lot of different answers, and mainly straightforward ones like Stevoni, Tavoni from Steven Universe, which is the one that came the most frequently, and, and that's logical, that's one of the most well-known trans slash non-binary characters out there. This but this type of gender dysphoria I had never experienced before. Most of my gender dysphoria is more, wow, this character is so hot, I want to be her. And like, that's very normal and simple, especially from someone that's bisexual, like. But this dysphoria is more, I really relate to this character, yet we're barely alike. What if I was more like her than I thought? What if I was just not a man? After thinking about it a long time, I think I seen Aya what I could have been if I grew up as a teenage girl. I would have been probably like her striving for success in class, and one day discovering the pros of having fun with friends and, you know, do girl stuff. It's like I found a mirror to an alternate dimension while watching that. Please watch Super Gals.